Well, hello, glorious people of the interwebs, and welcome back to Red Dead Online. I hope you're all doing well. And today, we're going to be doing another podcast-style video where we discuss the future of Red Dead Online. Now, we have officially gone through all of the drip feed content that was announced with the spring update. And uh, we're going to be discussing when the summer update is going to come. We're also going to be discussing the collector job today. Um, now, previously... Before the spring update dropped, what Rockstar did was they re-released all of the drip feed content before releasing the spring update from the previous large update. Now, the information that I have for this as far as when the summer update is going to come is from, you know, past releases from Rockstar. And I have a pretty solid idea of when the summer update is going to drop. Now, I do hope that I'm wrong because I would really love for the summer update to come sooner than I think. And I really do think that Rockstar really needs to capitalize on the momentum they got from the spring update. I know the game is significantly better than it was pre-summer update, but a lot of people in the community have expressed that they're getting bored with the current offerings in Red Dead Online. There really isn't a ton of content to do, and it does get repetitive if you play a lot, but new players just joining uh, still have a ton of things to do and probably not very bored, but players that have been playing since the like since it came into beta are probably a little bored. That's, that's, that's understandable, but the game is still significantly better than it was pre-summer update and that is saying a lot and uh, i'm really happy with the way the game is going we're going to be getting plenty of content as time goes on uh, so long term i'm really not worried about uh, content for red dead online but i do think they should capitalize on momentum while they can now, that being said, I do think that what's going to happen is we're going to cycle through all of the content that was released in the, the spring update before we get the summer update. So we're going to basically get all that drip feed content and featured series again, and then uh, then we're going to get the summer update. So that means we got five weeks. There was five weeks, including the summer or the spring update itself. So you could theoretically say that maybe it'll be four weeks of, of uh, cycle content. Uh, because technically there was the spring update and then four weeks of drip feed. Uh, so wait, I, I'm anticipating four to five weeks of cycling through all that content again with weekly new bonuses. Like this week's bonus was amazing. A 30% increase to everything you do for XP was huge. Now we are going to be cycling through new rounds of bonuses and gifts and stuff like that from Rockstar. As well as cycling through the featured content. I really do not hope this is the case, but if it is, that would put the release for the summer update on July 16th. Now, that's not too far away. It's a month away, basically. And um, I really hope it comes out sooner than that. But the way things are looking, that seems like a pretty solid date to anticipate the summer update actually arriving. Well... If we only have to wait a month, that's much better than waiting two months, so I'll take it. Obviously, I would love for it to drop, like, either this week or next week, but maybe if we all cross our fingers for the entire week or whatever, that'll actually happen. Uh, but anyways, we've got three new jobs coming out. We already discussed the bounty hunter job and what I uh, anticipate that being like and what I would like to see included in it. And today I want to discuss the collector. This is probably the se I'm actually really excited about all of them, but I'm most excited about the Bouncy Hunter and then Collector being my second most anticipated, and then the Trader. Although I have a feeling the Trader is probably going to be like one of those sleeper, really fun jobs to do. Uh, but the Collector is basically becoming like an Indiana Jones style character would be absolutely amazing. And I would love for Rockstar to include like antiquities, like. Uh, from the past, like actual, basically made for Red Dead Redemption 2, but representing like actual real life antiquities would be really cool because then you can make videos about the lore that's behind it and stuff like that. And I think it could end up being a very, very fun job. Now, I am just spitballing here, but one thing that I would like to see from the collector is going back to the style of if the collector actually requires to find maps and put pieces together to find rare antiquities and treasure and stuff like that. I think it would be amazing if instead of using the system that Red Dead Online uses where you just find a map and it puts a, a spot on the map and you know exactly where to go and search, 
Um, what I would like to do is make it more puzzle related. I think that would be so much more fun and immersive. I hate the way the treasure system works right now where you just get one map and it marks it exactly where you need to go and you just got to wander around until your controller vibrates. I mean, I think it's an easy system and it makes it accessible to everyone and um, I mean, it's relatively easy, but I would like to see from the collector for certain things, especially if it's like a rare antiquity where you had to actually search for multiple map pieces similar to how you did it with um, in, in single player because I think that was great. Like you, you found a map with like something drawn on it with a location and then you go to that area and you either find like a riddle or a clue or something like that that brings you to another location i felt like that was really immersive and it made you really pay attention to your environment and that's one thing that i feel is is really lacking in red dead online and anything that can kind of do that and immerse you i've said this for so long and in so many videos that really being able to immerse yourself in the world is is amazing and I would really love to see the collector be able to do that and um, just have these really interesting Indiana Jones style moments where you're jumping across rocks and trying to find secret treasures and stuff like that and learning the lore in the world and stuff. I think it would be absolutely amazing. I have no idea if that's going to end up being the case, but that's one thing that I would like to see. Now, also... I'd really like it if you guys put left some comments down below with things that you would like to see the collector be able to do or what you think is going to be involved with it and how you think it's going to evolve over time. I love having these conversations with the community and these are things we always discuss during live streams and stuff like that. So if you guys don't tune in for the live streams, just know that we live stream. I've said live stream so many times in the past minute, but <laughs> we start at 5 p.m. Eastern Standard Time pretty much every single day. If you want to be a part of these conversations, make sure to tune in. But um, yeah, definitely leave some comments down below. Now, obviously, I'd love for the collector to get some special things. So I imagine what we're going to get from the collector is probably some satchels that increase, like a, a valuable satchel. So you get more valuables when you uh, collect. So you can't only have like five of each. You probably have up to like, or is it five of each or is it like 10 or 20 of each? I don't remember. It's been so long since I've worried about collecting anything because they don't sell really for any decent amount of money um, but i do anticipate getting some satchels that increase your sizes maybe even like a special saddle for your horse um, that allows you to carry more things i think would be really nice i have no idea if that's going to end up being the case but i definitely would like to see that as time goes on i think there's a troll about to get trolly in my session right now he's following me I don't know what he's doing. He's looking a little frisky. You guys can't see this right now because I'm doing a voiceover, but it's a thing. It happened. He tried to lasso me and I shot him. I don't know if he was trying to be friendly, but he's dead. We're going to continue on with our, with our little discussion video here. Sweet baby Jesus. As I was saying, um, having the horse have a special saddle that you can either put more valuables in or even more carcasses and stuff like that. Being able to, like if you remember in, I believe they're even in online, but in single player you had these characters walking around with the horse having this huge like um, saddle with like tons of things for like gold digging and hunting and fishing and stuff like that. I think it would be pretty cool to have that in the game i have no idea well let me know what you guys think about that uh, but it's kind of hard to to think of things that you would get specifically as a collector i do imagine we'll probably have bonuses to fences and stuff like that but one thing that i would like to see is still giving the characters more of a reason to be honorable and dishonorable right now there's really no reason to and i mentioned a bunch of things for the bounty hunter that would be pretty cool but for the trader, I think it would be nice to be able to accept, um, like, these collector missions. I don't exactly know how the style is going to be, but if they are mission-based, uh, having specific characters give you honorable collector things, and then you have dishonorable ones as well, um, where you're, like, stealing antiquities from houses, more of, like, a robber than a collector, but you're, like, this, uh, like a... Yeah, a cat robber, I think is what they call them. Basically going into, like, mansions and stealing antiquities that way. Or you could be honorable where you're searching for antiquities to go in, like, museums and stuff like that. Or just for yourself. I think being able to distinguish yourself as a specific type of collector would be really, really cool. And that would give a reason to, like, break into, like, Angelo Bronte's mansion and steal something extremely valuable that he has. Or, um 
going into Mexico and finding... Well, I don't know if they're going to ever, <laughs> ever include Mexico, but there's the, uh, the mask that you take from um, one of the... I, I can't exactly remember what it was, but I, I believe it was Aztec Temple, pretty much, that was underground, and you got the mask for Undead Nightmare 2. Uh, I know it's an Aztec thing, but anyways, uh, do, doing stuff like that and actually being like an Indiana Jones style character would be really, really cool. Now, let's get into some more of the exciting things that I would like to see from the collector. Now, one thing I think you should be able to do is basically be able to set up your camp or a cabin or something. Did I just take out two for one special? Oh my god. Um, but be able to set up a camp or a... Uh, a cabin with all of the valuables that you find, if you're not selling them all, you should be able to show them all off. And I think that would be absolutely amazing. When you have your posse come and hang out or other people, they could check out your cabin with all your satchels and stuff. Or with all your satchels. Just hoarding satchels like a freak. No, <laughs> hoarding all of your collectibles until you sell them or whatever. I think that would be a really fun way to kind of show off your collection as a collector. Another thing, as I've been mentioning in all my videos, there's tons of ways to incorporate using wagons. And I still don't know why uh, Rockstar, I almost said Capcom, why Rockstar hasn't capitalized on the potentiality for wagons and stuff. Uh, one thing that you could do with the wagons is fill it up with all of your collectibles and then do a delivery mission to sell them. And um, the more collectibles you have, the more money you make. So it's definitely worthwhile to fill up your wagon as much as possible before actually trying to go and sell your collectibles at either an auction or on the black market if you're a uh, dishonorable character, which I think would be fun either way you're going. Like going to a black market has its risks, but you potentially could make far more money than going to an actual auction. I have no idea how they would incorporate it, but there's definitely a lot of really, really cool things they could do. One thing that they may be able to do to include things that you could do in single player is maybe you get talismans that you can equip as the character or as the collector that allows you specific benefits like um, like slower dead eye or faster red eye. Red dead. Oh my god. Dead eye regeneration. Words are hard and the struggle is real. Um, but talismans like that, like increased health or... Um, Basically, anything like the talismans we got in single player. I don't remember all of them because I never really looked at a lot of them, but there's definitely multiple things that you could do uh, to give the collector talismans and stuff like that that gives them special benefits. And since you can be every job, you can every character would be able to get the stuff from the collector. Um, so if you want to prioritize being a bounty hunter first and then become a collector to get all the talismans and stuff like that, oh god, you can do it if you so desire. Uh, but it'll be up to the characters to kind of decide what type of talismans to get. I think that would be a really nice bonus uh, for the collector, as well as, you know, the special satchels for each job would be really nice. Um, there's so many different things that Rockstar can do over time to really evolve these characters. Like, maybe the collector one day could open a museum in Saint Denis or something like that. Who knows? Like, the, the potentiality for Red Dead Online is literally only limited by their creativity and and willingness to to go the extra mile and create some crazy things so there's a lot of potential for these jobs especially if they do decide to evolve them gradually over time like the uh collector or trader opening up a shop in their camp and then eventually owning a shop in saint denis and and upgrading that way and i do believe that eventually we're going to get properties and stuff like that people have been requesting that for a long time rockstar knows that it's not only a valuable option for them as far as um a potential for in-game purchases because inevitably people are going to want to just buy it instead of playing to get it um but then on the flip side you give the, the people what they want oh wow these guys respawned here really quick unfortunately i have no ammo let's see here let's use the the handy dandy Lancaster repeater with some special ammo. There we go. That should be just dandy. Oh, I'm trying to get that dead eye bonus as well. I should be riding the horse and getting the the horse bonus, but um, I'm a fool sometimes. Oh god, I'm gonna die. They are lighting me up. They light me up, ladies and gentlemen. But yes. Uh, <laughs> There's so much potential for each of these, but I definitely want each job to have its 
um, honorable and dishonorable counterparts. I, because right now there's there's really there's nothing except for the you know there's, there's the story missions that kind of differentiate the characters. You can only do dishonorable story missions if you're dishonorable. But I like to see that evolved more with the jobs over time. It's just more immersion, and more immersion in this game is just going to make it better. So it's a win-win situation if we have both aspects. It's a little bit... It's going to take more to create the content that way, but I think it's going to be worth it in the long run. I hate using the Deadeye for this, because... Oh, God, we're going to die! If you guys are wondering why I'm doing this, it gives a ton of XP with this 30% XP bonus right now, so just keep that in mind. There we go. I haven't really advertised this because it would just end up making this area a complete disaster and nobody would be able to do it because it'd just be full of trolls. Um, so I've actually been really careful with the type of like farming guides that I release because I don't want to make it so that everyone does it and then it just completely breaks the system and it just creates a bunch of trolls. So I'm trying to be cognizant of that fact, <laughs> but I will be releasing more like guides and stuff on how to level up get XP and stuff really, really quickly in Red Dead Online. Um, but that is all I've got for today's episode. I still have lots of ideas for the collector, and I'll be discussing some more of those inside of the live streams that we do. But if any of you guys have any ideas or things you would like to see from the collector, definitely make sure to leave a comment down below. I do hope you all enjoyed this episode. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you all in the next one.